What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I got a jailbreak update video. It's been a while since I made one of these videos, but there's been a ton of news over the last couple of weeks, but I'm going to be explaining everything in this video. So there's a known developer in the jailbreak community known as Linus Hens. He is actually releasing an open source jailbreak to the public um, this Sunday. Originally, it was supposed to be today on October 21st, but he did run into some issues and said that in his tweet, you guys can see right here, he's going to be releasing it this Sunday. So this Sunday, it's not going to be um, immediately once he drops it, we can jailbreak our device. We got to wait for a developer like Uncover or Torin to update it so it supports this. And um, this is an untethered jailbreak. If you don't know what that means, we haven't had one in like, I can't remember when, probably back on like iOS 11. But basically, um, right now, all the jailbreaks we've had in the last couple of years have all been semi-tethered, meaning that um, when we our device dies or we turn off our phone, we have to rerun the jailbreaks um, using the software on a computer, such as the CheckRain jailbreak or Uncover or the Touring um, application on our iOS device. But with this one coming out this Sunday, it's an untethered jailbreak, meaning that when we turn off our device or battery dies out, we turn it back on, it's going to be immediately still in the jailbroken state, so we don't need to run any software or any apps at all. The only way to remove the jailbreak is if we uh, restore our device in iTunes. So a lot of, that's why a lot of people are going to be excited for this jailbreak. So now let's get on to the compatibility, what um, devices are supported, as well as what firmware. So the iOS version of support for it is iOS 14.3 to 14.5.1. That's why I did make a video about, I don't know when, a couple weeks ago, or uh, probably a couple months ago actually, to save your blobs from 14.3 all the way to 14.5.1 just because of this news that we did get. I did hear that if you're on an earlier version um, before 14.3, I believe it is easy to actually make it compatible with like, for example, 14.0.1, 14.0. Point two, fourteen point two, and so on. Uh, but obviously, as of right now, on the launch, once it does release, it's only going to be fourteen point three to fourteen point five point one, and this is only going to support ARM sixty four E devices. So that's the A twelve chip and above. So if you don't know what that is, that's the iPhone XS and newer. So, um, for example, if you're on like if you have the brand new iPhone thirteen right now, obviously there is no iOS fourteen. Um, compatibility for that it's only on ios uh, 15 so fortunately for me i'm on my iphone 13 pro i can't jailbreak obviously but i do have my iphone xr i believe i did have my blob save for that so uh, i'm going to be having a tutorial once this does drop um hopefully sometime on sunday but um yeah guys that's basically it for video hope you guys did enjoy this one like i said i'm gonna be making a full tutorial once it does drop and um I'll probably bring back the top 10 CH week videos. I know a lot of people have been loving that series. I did kind of take a break from it, but with this new jailbreak coming, a lot of people are going to be jailbreaking the devices once again. So uh, stay tuned for that. If you guys did enjoy this video, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video. It's basically it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.